Babes, I've never been this nervous before. The method of meeting my in-laws is just intriguing to me. It gives me this butterfly in my stomach. God, God help me. I don't know, you've been murmuring, you've been worrying about this whole meeting in-laws thing. Oh. Why have you made yourself so bothered about it? These people are mere humans like you and they won't eat you up. Chrissy, I know they're mere human beings, right? But I'm just worried. I just, I just don't know if they will like me. I, I, I mean, Mike's mom, the little I heard about her, I just, I just, I just think she's this tough woman. I don't know. I'm just worried. I'm just, I'm just nervous. All this fear is coming out from this small head of yours. You have to get him out already. Babes, you should be grateful. You should be thankful that, you know, you're almost a wife to be. See, as long as your beloved Mike still loves you, any other person or family, it's secondary. You should be happy and instead of being worried. Chrissy, I'm happy, okay? I'm happy. I'm just... I don't know if I should be excited or, you know, I don't know. There's just this big positive. Be positive. I'm trying to be. By the way, you should be more concerned about the surgery you have to carry on today and not your dear in-laws. Hey, girl. Surgery ain't a big deal, okay? It's becoming not to me, right? Madam Doctor. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I gotta go. So, you wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Great. On um, what exactly? Uh, let's just say on board. Most especially my grand meeting. Oh. Mm hmm. Sorry. It's indeed a grand meeting, okay? And I wish you all the best. Thank you, Rumi. So see you later, girl. Good. Thank you. Take care, okay? <sighs> Gosh. How do you work a whole day and still end up looking this beautiful? Mike, you have started, Abby. And I will never stop. Mm -hmm. Alright? I'm just so lucky to have you as my one and only Laura Smith. Mike, stop teasing me. I'm, I'm nervous about meeting your family. We're still talking about this again. Like you're not going to meet the whole crowd of people. It's just my mother, sister and younger brother. That's I all. know. I'm just worried. What if they don't like me? Hello? Listen, nobody will meet you and not like you. Hmm? My family is not an exception, all right? So, just remove this nervousness and let the smile in. Okay. Can we go now? Good evening, Mama. Good evening, Ma. Um, meet Laura, the woman I've been telling you about. Yes, oh, you mean the Omoibo um, you talked about? Yes, she's from uh, Arochuku. Um, Arochuku. Abia State. Abia State, yes. Uh, so that's the reason why she does not know that she has to kneel down and be respectful. I'm so sorry, Ma. Hey, hey, don't, 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 and save your, your, your knees distress since they don't know how to be respectful and show respect anywhere they go to. Eh? Don't, just, just leave her beg. Mama. Don't mama me. Just take your time. Don't mama me at all. Ah, have I not personally told you that before you bring in any woman into this house, you must teach her how to be respectful. A proper Yoruba man will teach the woman how to be respectful if that woman is not Yoruba. You know all tribes are not equal. Only, eh? No respect. Nothing. And I told you, you are too immature to start thinking about uh, getting a wife. Because uh, you, 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 you can't make such choices now. Mama, I'm not immature. I am old enough to be married. And I don't like the way you are sounding. It's not good for, for Laura. Who cares? Who is Laura? Tan Laura. 
Honey, that I cannot say what whatever I want to say. Come and shut my mouth now. And you, Nancy, are you going to pretend that you've not seen my visitor? Hi. I have no business with anybody you call a visitor. Whose bag are you carrying? Hey, my gike! So you are hey, you! Oh my team, you are carrying! Choose a way. Nonsense. Ah, ah. <coughs> and you, you have no fear of God. Mm. Michael, where is the stuff I told you to get from the supermarket? Me too. That's the only place I have with you. Where is, where is it? Bro, you were supposed to get me the PS4. I'm also helping me from my laptop. Hmm. Mommy, see that, bro, Michael forgot these two important things. Are you seriously going to bring that up now? Like, Nancy. At least recognize the fact that my wife to be is standing right here in this living room. Eh? Who told you you have a wife? Where's the wife? Honda. Kali. Oh. Where's the wife? And you must be out of your senses, Michael. When you get your head back, please bring the things I told you to get for me to my bedroom. Yes, go. So, from where you came from, your mother did not teach you that. When you get into a house, the house you intend to come and live your life in, you have to offer to give helping hands if they are working. Mm. She no. never taught you that. No, I don't understand. How will you understand that? When all that is in your head is how to show off, to paint your wall, to paint your to, 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 to do all that. Look, just look at that. See, see your chest. Everything is out. So what is remaining for my son to buy there now? Because you've, you've exhibited all to all men on the streets. Banjo, Mugwede, Mugwede. Eh? Odin Koko Kambo. That you are selling for everybody, every eye to see. What my son will finally use money to buy. Ma. What a, your babies are supposed to suck. You are selling it. You've, so what is remaining? Eh, 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 respect. You don't have to give happy hand. Go see. It's only this song that you know how to do. Okole, koshile, mude, banjo, mude, banjo. Mata, positivity. Begin to sell, sell all before you you think of bringing it into one house. Iran. Don't you want to introduce yourself properly to us? Or you think your face is enough details for us that we need to know? Nancy. Don't Nancy me. Let her talk. I'm so sorry. Really sorry that I didn't introduce myself properly to you and Mama. Actually, I'm a practicing neurosurgeon. And I studied in the University of South Africa. I did not ask you what country you traveled to to read books. Tell us about you, your family to be precise. Where are your parents? <laughs> well, my mother is late, but my dad lives in the United States of America, Texas to be precise. I see. International family. So where did you grow up? <sighs> well, my, actually I grew up in London. Mm. And then uh, my father moved to United States of America after I lost my mom. And I'm the only child of my parents. Mom, that explains why she does not have simple man as a girl should have. Sean, are you out of your mind? Michael. Look, Michael, I'm your mother. And before you bring any woman of disgrace into this family, I make sure it does not happen. Mama, honestly, I am so sorry if I portray the wrong impression about myself on you. I, I'm not a bad person. I, I, can, I can prove that. Look, young woman, first impression is everything. It matters. If that is tarnished, it's very difficult to mend. Do you get me? So please, everybody, just let's stop this discussion and postpone it uh, later. Mama, Haba. It's okay, Michael. What? Are you okay? I'm fine. 
it's it's actually very late, so I have to be on my way home. Okay, let me let me. No, me drop you off. there's no need for that. I can no, handle it. I'll drop you off. All right. All right. Bye, Ma. Bye, Nancy and Sean. Mom, I can't believe what mistake Brother Michael has made of a girl. She's international, of course. I don't even think they go to the toilet. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to welcome her into this family. Because she has to act like a woman without being plunged to. Hmm. Right to be. They treated you nice. You have no idea. Look, Christy, I don't have strength. I cannot have this conversation with you, okay? Maybe tomorrow, maybe, I don't know, next tomorrow, later, or uh, never. But what have I said? Sean? How are you? I hope you're aware that my brother Michael is not around. Yes, I know that. I actually did come to see him. Good afternoon, Ma. Oh, how are you? I'm fine, Ma. Yes. Michael is not home. Maybe he should come back later. When he's back, okay? I, Ma, I know he's not home. I, I didn't come to see him. I actually came to see you. Why? Any problem? No, everything is fine. There's no problem. I just came to see you, know how you're doing. If I can help you out with anything. <laughs> your makeup is nice and I love your hair. It's, it's pretty. Ma, I got you something. Like a small token. <laughs> What's inside? Privileges. Look, let me tell you something. I'm not a baby that feeds on milk or beverages. If you need to give somebody a gift like this, go to daycare centers and give it to them. I don't take this, okay? okay. And uh, return it. Yes, I'll, I'll just return it. Good. Laura, I don't think you can figure out the research. You look so stressed. Just take a break. Babes, I don't need a break. I'm submitting this report tomorrow morning. When else can I do it if not now? No. That's true. But why didn't you do it earlier? And you didn't even go to work today. I was busy. I went to Mike's house. Busy? So you spent a whole day doing nothing at Mike's place? No, actually, I did a whole lot. A whole lot that her mother asked me to. From cleaning, I did washing, I even did gardening. Why? I don't know. I seriously do not know, but she asked me to do them, so I had to do them. But why does she order you around? My darling asked me. I don't know. But no matter how stressful it is, I'll do them. Because one thing I don't want this problem with that woman. Um, is Mike aware of this? Is he aware of all this? Yes, he's aware. But what can he do? She's his mother. This is not healthy at all. 
He's not. This in-law drama is getting too much. Every single time I'm there, it's either they drown me with so much work or they find a way to criticize me. And the worst is they do it when Michael is not around. Then you should stop going there when Michael is not in. And you know I can't do that. I mean, I'm just trying to get acquainted with them. <sighs> Laura, this old trial thing of yours is really stressing you up, if you ask me. I'll tell you to just give yourself a little space. That will even make it worse. I mean, they will believe that I'm running away because I'm lazy. Really? Do you know what should happen here? The only thing to do right now is get married soon. Mm -hmm. That way I'll be free from them. Lara, is that what you think? I mean, they wouldn't come live with me if we are married, would they? Would they stay? Like, seriously? I don't know. And I don't care. My dear, you have to know. You really have to. Else, you will be their slave forever. That will never happen. <laughs> I pray so. <sighs> Mama, I am not comfortable with the way Nancy talks to Laura in this house. All right, she doesn't even talk to her like somebody who is going to be a member of this family anytime soon. Mm. Thank God, Michael, you've brought this up. Let me tell you something. I will not be alive and have you bring in that lazy doctor of yours into this house. Not on the minus. Well, everybody in this house, come down now and listen to me. I'm making a declaration. Because, Mama, you see that girl, Laura? That is the girl I'm going to get married to. There is nothing anyone will do mm -hmm. to stop me. You think so? Mama, I don't think so. I need your support on this. Please. Look, Michael, I will not support anything that I don't like. And she deserves all she's getting from Nancy because she does not act like a woman. Mama, I don't like this, so I don't like this. And you will not like the way I will behave from now on. How? Okay. You. And what okay. will you do? You think I will want to dog of a woman into this dignified family? That's a lie. Let's watch and see. going to join you shortly. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hey, Mike. Hey, How are you? I've been calling you for three days now. You didn't take my calls. Is everything okay? Mike, everything is fine. I've just been busy at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this in any way connected to my sister and mom? No, 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 no. Not at all. Come on now. No, I just need that space to myself. But I'm fine now. Mm. Yeah. I missed you. Mike, it's only been three days. <laughs> and it felt like three months. You're not serious. <laughs> um, I want to take you out to go see a movie. Okay, like right now? Like right now. I want to give my baby a treat. Alright, so how about work? You're not going Forget to about work. work. I want to take my baby out for a nice treat. Hmm? Okay, that sounds nice. So I'm just going to go back in there and change into something else, right? Okay. Mm. Hey, should I join you? No, mm. sit back there. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. 
Come in. Oh. Good afternoon, ma. Oh. <laughs> it's you, so you're back. I thought you've left my son finally for good. <laughs> no, Mama, I, I can't leave him. I, I love him. I can't leave him for anything. I see. I hope you're back with more wisdom. Not the Laura, the dumb Laura that I know of. But, Mama... Look, look, look. Uh, there's something I have at the backyard for you to do for me, so go do it. What's that? When you get there, you see it. But make sure you do it very, very well. Okay, Mama. Come, 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 come. Are you going to the backyard to walk with your bag? Is this a fashion parade you think you're going for? Okay, Mama. Uh, I will just drop it here. No, don't. Okay. Put it on my head. What a oh. <laughs> Mama. Michael Femi Jr. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, Mama. How are you doing? Well, I'm fine, son. I've just finished preparing your favorite meal. Uh, we do and Semo. Wow. <laughs> and I'm heavily famished. Really? <laughs> uh, Mama, where is uh, Laura? She said she was going to be around. Oh, yes, she is. But she's at the backyard uh, doing something for me. Mama, at the backyard? What is she doing at the backyard? She's doing just anything that a wife to be is supposed to be doing. But when we forget about her, she'll soon be through. She'll join us soon. Uh, what I want you to do is just drop your bag just, and get ready for food. Just, just, ah, Femi, let that be. What you do for me now is drop your bag and get ready to eat. All right, I'll eat. You don't have to shout. Did I shout? I never did. I'll go serve your food. Oh. <laughs> Michael. Hey, baby. Michael, so you came back and you never bothered checking up on me. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, my mom insisted I eat first. Hmm. Of course. Of course, you're just like them. Baby, please. Baby, please what, Michael? Every time I come to this house, your mother treats me like a maid. We can't even have a good conversation together. Anytime she's talking to me, it's either she's ordering me around or she's criticizing me. And, and your, your twin sister is no exception to this. Like, I'm tired. Look, just, just calm down, all right? Mama is just trying to get to know you better. She means no harm. And she feels that's the best way to go about it. As for my twin sister, I promise you she'll get softer on you sooner than you expected. Michael, this is what you've been saying from the first time I stepped my foot into this house. What is it? Uh, see, I promise you it will happen. It will happen. I promise you. Yeah, better. Because I can't have them in my matrimonial home. Baby, you can't be talking like this. They are my family. Well, I'm not enjoying the company of your family. All right? And I just hope you're not insinuating that they will leave with us in our matrimonial home. 
baby, it's not that easy, all right? I promise you, as soon as we get married, my mother's attitude, my family's attitude towards you will, will soften, they will change, I'm telling you. So what happened to renting them a place? You know how it is now. The moment I rent them a place, people will go speculating. They are my family members, all right? Mm. They will adjust to having you here. Okay. Your mother will change, eh? She will. I promise Oh, yes, she will. Mm. No problem. Laura. Uh, Laura. Hey! Hey. Hey. Um, where are you going to this early? I I need to rush to the hospital. It's a it's an emergency. An emergency? But I thought you said Saturdays were your off days. Yes, actually it's my off day, but it's important I'm in the hospital today. Okay. Uh, I hope this is not in any way connected to what happened with my sister last night. No, Michael, no. It's just work. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I need to be on my way. Okay. Well, let me drop you off. Oh, no, no, you don't have to. I drove, remember? Okay. No, 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 no. No, no. Yeah, come on. You don't get it. It's just getting too much. It's getting out of hand. I can't handle it. I can't handle it anymore. If you were in my shoes, trust me, you would have walked out long time ago. It's just too much. I, I can't I can't take it. Nay, I have taken all these insults. I've taken them for so long. I've cried about them for so long. It, it even makes me feel like I'm not worthy to be to be a human being anymore. I am tired. I am fed up. I'm worn out. I, I, I can't. I can't take it. I can't continue. You need to come to the house. We need to talk. Are you okay, Laura? Mm. You just have to take things easy. Look, it's just, it's just too annoying and frustrating. I can't deal with it anymore. I, I, I am, I am, I'm, I'm done. Just calm down, okay? Meanwhile, I have some good news. Remember an old friend of mine who wants to go up for marriage? Yeah, you mentioned it. It's happening very soon and I can't wait. I don't know, but... I don't know why my instincts keep telling me that he's going to be a great guy. You've not met him before? Yes. And I don't want to meet him. In fact, I just want this love fever to keep boiling till I meet him. Wow. That's really cool. And I'm happy. I'm happy for you on that. I'm so happy for you. And I hope your in-laws won't give you tough time. They won't. Right. I'm happy for you. Can't say that again. Look, babe. You are being too hard on yourself on this issue. I think you should give this guy a different. Let him be the one to come visit you instead. That's the worst of it. If I do that, they will just think I've gone for good and, and find a way to talk Mike out of marrying me. Do you know the little while I was not there, this woman had already believed that I had left Mike. But why are they acting like that? I don't know. They're not being fair to you at all. I have done everything I can. I have done my possible best to please that woman and even his sister. But it won't just work. 
Nora, you want to end your relationship? Yes, I will end it. I will just end it. What am I supposed to do? Right, I love Mike. But all of this is just too much. It's way too much for me to handle. How am I supposed to cope even after marriage? What am I supposed to do? I'm just going to be a prisoner in my own home. Calm down, baby girl. Okay, I think you should devise another means before thinking of giving up. Another means like what? What other means? Look, since they are all about complaining, complaining, complaining. Look, all an in-law wants is a good daughter-in-law. If you keep pushing, I'm sure they will like you. They will. They must like you. I have done all that, babes. I have done all that. It won't just work. I've done everything. You should try harder. Look, all a mother-in-law wants is a daughter-in-law who would make her happy. Look, you cannot just give up on your relationship like that. You can't give up on that guy. He's not his fault. Oh, yeah, he's not his fault. But he's not helping matters. He's just not, he's not even saying anything. He's just... What do you want him to do? Hmm? Is this quality his family? Look, babe, just do all I've told you. I am sure they will like you. Eventually, they must like you. They will. Hmm. Babes, I don't know, man. Laura, do you? I don't know. Hmm. I will give you a try. You should. So you can cook, eh? I just pray that this food we are about to eat will not choke me to death. God forbid, nothing like that will happen. Mm -hmm. Are you sure it's going to be partial or true? Nancy, you don't have to be negative about my food. You haven't even tasted it. I'm sure when you taste it, you will like it. Avoiding him and his calls. You know, Christy, just ignore it. I can't, Laura. I cannot ignore it. This guy has been here three times today in search of you, and I keep lying to him you're not around. Do you think he deserves it? You're damn right, he deserves it. But he loves you. And good for him, he loves me. But I cannot die because of love. Alright? 
I'm sure it's about your in-laws, you know, right? You see, I don't want to talk about this. Laura! All right. You can sit yourself. Lord, you alone know my predicaments with this family. Please help me. Help me to find peace and love within these walls. Amen. doing here? I should be asking you that. Do you have anyone that stays here? This is my boyfriend's house. This is... This is Mike's place? Oh yes, this is Mike's house. What the hell are you doing here? He's coming. Who is coming? <laughs> Nancy, what's going on here? Oh, thank God you came. This is Michael's new bride. What? Christy, Michael's new bride? I don't understand. What's going on here? How could you do this to me? I'm asking you, how could you do this to me, Christy? Don't you even try it. Don't you even try to raise your voice at me. I never knew he's a man you once dated. After all, you don't even love him anymore. Oh, really? So it's you that loves him now. So it's Christy that loves Mike now. Like, seriously? Christy, you're saying this to me? Huh? Hey, baby. Hey, don't you, you baby me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare baby me. What is this? What's going on? Baby, I have been calling you. And you refused to take your calls. You just ignored me. Oh, so that's why you chose my roommate over me. What are you talking about? I don't know whatever is going on here. See, everything you see going on here is Nancy's plan, and I will not succumb to it. Madam Lara, you can leave now, because this is his new plan. Nancy, it's about time you stopped talking nonsense. Do you get? Do you know, I should have known you're no different from your family. Baby. Baby. Hey. I've always called you respect in this house. But you see, you like overstepping your bounds. But you see this bag of shit you packaged and brought here. Package it and sell it off. Because I will not succumb to it. Michael, one day you thank me for this. This is the right woman for you. Ha <laughs> 
Um, I'm kind of clumsy like that sometimes. It's fine. Nobody's perfect. That's true, but some people demand perfection from me. I don't get you. Don't worry. I was just, you know, thinking out loud. Why are you ignoring your calls? It's not important. No. I mean, whosoever takes our time to call you should at least have a reason for it so you should pick up no i can't i can't keep living my life for people especially when they don't like me and probably will never like me calm down i wouldn't mind if you start explaining things better to me Nah, I wouldn't want to bug you with my problems. And besides, you're a young girl, and I'm sure you have your, you know, little problems. You're not bugging me, my dear. So tell me, where really is the problem? Okay, if you must know, I'll tell you. My fiance's family, they don't like me. They hate me so much. They insult me. They ridicule my imperfection. They order me around. And to make and to worsen the situation, when we get married, we are going to live together. And that means I'm going to be a prisoner to the pains they give me. So what are you gonna do now? What you wanna do? Leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'll walk away. Because I can't continue. It's driving me crazy. It's driving me nuts. I mean I'm running mad. I, I, I almost hit you. Yes, but if you leave, you've lost the race. If you leave, you become less the strong woman you're going to be. Haven't you heard this saying that to conquer your fears, you have to face them? Huh? I want you to go back to that family and carry out all the love you have in your heart to them. I've been doing that. But they won't just love me back. They won't just love me back. I've been doing that all the time. That's all I do. They don't have to love you. Everything they do to me is frustrating me. It's, it's, it's crazy. I, I, it's, it's just, I don't know. I... <sighs> no, they won't frustrate you. When they see that you're unbreakable and you're unstoppable, they will bend to your love. Huh? Are you sure about that? Yes. Just get back. I know you still love him, and don't let that pass away. Don't let that happen. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that advice. And, and always remember to pray, because God always adjusts situations to favor us. Whenever we get them on our knees to pray, okay? Okay. A ghost. Was I talking to a ghost? No, 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 no. What just happened right now? I was talking to a, a ghost. yourself all bothered about the past. I'm here to make you feel. I'm here to make you feel. I can remember. I'm going to take care of you, baby. See, I'll make you feel alright. Don't get worried. Don't bother. Christy, take your hands off me. Gave you the effrontery to walk into my room without knocking. Are you in your right senses? I understand. 
understand what you're going through, okay? Just, just come here. Come to me. You don't need to, you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry about any other thing. Just focus on me. Look at what I have to offer you. Get out! And trust your beauty in the bin, all right? Now listen to me. Today should mark the very first and the last time I will ever see you around my room. Do you hear me? Now get out. I said, get out. Why do you keep pretending like this body doesn't attract you? Why do you keep treating me this way? I'm even more beautiful than Laura and, and, you, and you, I don't know. Get out. Said, be very careful. Be careful about what? What can you do? For Christ's sake, Michael, wait! How can you reject the girl I choose for you with that Laura girl? Auntie Nancy, my darling twin sister, listen to what I'm going to tell you now, all right? Because I will not repeat myself. Whatever I chose to do with my life, or whomever I decide to marry, should be none of your business. All right? You see that Trump? You package from the pit of hell yeah, and brought to me to marry. Package it and give it to roadside vendors of a cricket. They will help you sell it. All right? But whatever you do, stay out of my business. Because that ungrateful girl called Lap, if I see her, I will twist her legs. Mom! Can you see what Michael is doing? He's just the girl I brought for him. Hi, Diane. Hi, Michael. You asked someone to come call me. I was pretty busy upstairs. Oh, I am so sorry for the inconveniences, all right? Um, but I need your help. Uh, I've been calling Laura for, like, forever. She's not taking my calls. Please, can you help me tell her that I'm down here waiting to see her? And why would I do that, Michael? She's still hurting from all you've done to her, Michael. Uh, look, Diane, I have done nothing to her. It's my family. They are frustrating me too. Look, Michael, that young lady has gone through a lot. She has done so much just to impress your mother and your sister. Yet they keep putting her through so much frustration and shame. I don't want her going through more frustrations, Michael, Look, no. Diane, I know. But my plans for her are of good. All right? I'm sorry, Michael. I cannot help you. See, I'm, I'm promising you right now. I, they have to pass through me first, before they hurt her. I'm promising you today, Diane. See, I love Laura. If you want to see me be okay, you have to let me see Laura now. I beg you. Okay, Michael. I'm going to help you, but on one condition. Um, uh, which is? You'd have to promise me you'd never, ever let her go through any more frustration and shame, Michael. It's done. See, for anybody to hurt Laura, they have to hurt me first. I won't let anybody hurt her anymore, I promise you. Okay, Michael. Look, Laura is not here. She's been moved to a different hospital, different address. Okay. Oh, um, I have a better idea. Pick me up at five. Okay. I could take you to where she is. Okay, five it is. All right. Okay. See you. Thank you so much, Laura. Okay. I'm grateful, I promise you. See you. All right? Why did you bring him here? 
Laura, please. Just hear him out, please. please. I thought I made it clear myself that I don't want to ever see him again. Please. Listen, baby. Please, I'm sorry. All right? But just hear me out. Hear you out? What do you have to say? Beg me to be second wife to my roommate? No, baby, no. See, you know I don't like that girl. I don't like her for anything. And you know it. I'll be an empty man if you let those people push you out of my life. Right? I love you. Just take me back. I beg you in the name of God, Laura. Just take me back. Mike, I would. Not in that house. Not with those people. Baby, no one said we had to start afresh in that house. We could go anywhere. As far as you take me with you. So, where exactly are we supposed to start over again? Baby, I don't know. Let's just go anywhere. As far as you take me with you, I'm fine. But just don't expose her to anything that will hurt her. I promise you. Alright, see you. Thank you. been back for a long time now. What is going on? I didn't even get the opportunity to know him better. I don't even know. Christy, I told you not to worry. Don't worry, Christy. He's going to be back soon. He's not going to run away. I know, but I don't know if he's running away because I am here. I know my brother, wherever he is, he's going to come back. He never packed his bags. I mean, he's, I'm very sure very soon he's going to walk through that door. Relax. Chrissy, don't worry. Do me a favor, okay? Go and eat something. Just relax and... Get yourself something to wear, something nice and sexy for him. Can you do that for me? I'll do just that. Good girl. I know you're the right girl for my brother. Not that, what's her name, Laura, Yellow. I just don't like her. She's not the one for him, no. Just... Yes? Yes? Okay. Babes, I'm not comfortable with the fact that you abandoned your family to be here with me. I understand they don't like me, right? But I think you should check up on them and make sure they're doing fine. No. No, I won't do that. I want them to know how it feels to miss someone you love. Maybe to finally ignite love in their hearts. Babes, I understand. But how about food? Food and some other things they might need. Look, like I can might... always send money into my sister's account for that. Right, that's true. But how about your mother? She'll be worried. Baby. 
nothing will happen. All right? If they miss me, they will call. All right, fine. Okay, if you say so. How about your work? I mean, you don't have clothes for that. <sighs> Baby, clothes are the least of my worries right now. All right, I can always buy clothes and go about my business. So don't worry. Babes, you're sacrificing so much for me. And that's because I love you so much. I can't go a day without you. Are you happy now? Look, Nancy, make sure my son comes back into this house or else. The worst part is he's not picking up my calls. You see? You see what I have been telling you? You can't leave me right now. I need you. We need to find him. <laughs> what did you say? You need to find who? Like, I should help you look for a grown man. <laughs> no, Nancy, I can't. Wait, let's just... I don't know, I even checked his office. He's not there. Let's just think about a place where he might be. Wait a minute. I think I know where he might be. Who's there? Be ashamed of yourself. You left your own home to come and stay with a woman. And you, Laura. Oh, so you think you finally succeeded in imprisoning my son? No, it's not what you think. Mama, this woman you see standing here is my soulmate. And there is nothing in this life anyone can do to change that. And since you people have a problem with accepting the woman that I love, Forget about me. I am not coming back. See, if you don't go back home, then I'm not leaving this place. Really? Laura, get your bag and let's get out of here. You mean you will walk out on me with this woman? Mama, I will do that again and again and again. That will make you understand that I love this woman. What have you wanted? What have you ever wanted in this life that I've not done for you? Mama, I honor every word you say. I worship the soil that you walk on. Michael, join the choir. Do not change church. Coffee at nine. No dating until graduation. Mama, I'm a full grown man capable of making my own decisions. Mama, this is the only woman I love. Why can't you just accept that?
what will you do? What is the matter with you? I'm going to a place where you will never find us. A place where I can be happy with the woman that I love. This thing, we are not quarreling now. We, 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 we don't have to fight. So, where do you think you want to go now? Eh? You can't go anywhere. You think I can live without you? Eh? Boy, Laura, we can resolve this one now. It's a small issue, don't you think so? Michael, you see, when I had uh, you and your twin sister, it was a thing of joy for the family. I never knew I could have a male child. You were both a blessing to the family. And not too long after you came to the world, we lost your father. You've been a great, nice child to me, a real son. And that's the reason why it's like I'm too attached to you, and I, 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 I don't want to, to lose you. I don't want anybody to take you away from me. Michael, I promise I will learn to love the woman you love so much. I know I've cheated you in a very, very wrong way, and you're a good person. I just didn't want you to take my brother away from me or my mother. I hope you forgive me. It's okay, Nancy. You're more than forgiven. I forgive you. Thank you. Nancy, you only apologized to Lara. You don't apologize to me. You know you like overstepping your boundaries. You're my younger brother. If you give me the respect, I'll respect you back. I'm always giving you the respect you deserve. You are the one who doesn't know how to set boundaries. Stop one girl. Well, I get ready to go with Looking for the venue of our wedding. Okay, so did you find a place? Mm, I didn't just find a place. I found a perfect spot. Great. Right. Where? Sit, 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 sit. <sighs> Ooh. Take a look at this. Where did you find? No way. Yes, way. No! <laughs> what? My is she? I heard you talking about how you would want a wedding on the ship. So I arranged one for us. Oh, goodness. Mike, I don't even know what to say. But this, this is going to be too expensive for you. That's why I got lucky. Um, a very good friend of mine linked me up to an old friend of his who happens to own a ship on the sea. So, I'm not paying a dime. Are you serious? I am serious. I offered to pay the guy. He said he would be insulted if I did. <laughs> so, um, the venue is set. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. God, this is just too much. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, 
you know, mm. to celebrate that, mm. why don't you take out this jacket? You didn't tell me? Well, I... <laughs> you wanted it to be a surprise. So I had to keep it from you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, this is going to be a joke, right? No, it is true. No! I, I can't mean, believe this! About your job, you know, yeah. I... You know, I told you my uncle is a medical doctor over mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you did. So um, I put in a word for you. So he has agreed to recruit you into his hospital as a high ranking. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I gave you like a five star recommendation. <laughs> for real? For real, baby. Um, and for my mom and sis, they can. Take the house, you know. They'll be over here. They'll be fine. Goodness. <laughs> my God. What could I have done without you? No, you can't. Come on. <laughs> Thank you so much. Goodness. God, what would I have done without you, my God? You know, you're everything I ask for in a woman. Uh, Mike and Laura, are they still in those? Mom, I'm sure they're still on their honeymoon. I mean, after all the stress from yesterday's reception, mm. they're still there. Anyway, I totally forgot what uh, honeymoon is all about. Hey, you see, my son is so romantic, I never <laughs> knew he could be. <laughs> anyway, the gifts they received yesterday, I think we should just arrange them properly in the store. Okay. Before they wake up. Okay, should I already start doing it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll join you. Let me just quickly finish this chapter. It's very interesting. All right, Mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quickly do that, huh? No problem. 